So, for those watching on YouTube, we had a little interruption. How many times have you been watching like a YouTube video about some kind of truth or topic and it gets cut off? <laughs> you know, how many times have we seen that also on like the mainstream media if they're interviewing somebody? I saw, I saw this several times like uh, you know, when Ron Paul was running for president, somebody would say something about truth and all of a sudden the feed cuts out. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I get it. Welcome back, everyone. So, I'll give people a few minutes to come in here. I was just kind of explaining to the YouTube people that will be watching this on replay what happened. Um, you know, I just happened to talk about Metatron, and I wasn't even getting into a good part yet. Um, it's kind of my red flag uh, for what you're about to hear. You're going to hear some pretty funky stuff. Um, and uh, we're going to go down the rabbit hole a little, okay? So welcome back, everyone. Okay, so what I was mentioning was uh, this woman was telling me that one of my posts wasn't in 5D consciousness. And basically I said, you know, as long as you're standing in the vibration of truth, love, and light, that is 5D consciousness, whether that person agrees with it, whether nobody agrees with, with you at all. If it's only your truth, but you are standing in the vibration of truth, love, and light, it's 5D consciousness. It can't be argued. And so I was curious. I went to this woman's Facebook page, and she said, on the day Trump won the election, one was in quotation marks, I heard Metatron say, this will ruin him and his family. Okay. Who is Metatron? Some say that he's the, basically he presides over all of the angels. In the early Kabbalah, remember this, early Kabbalah, Metatron is the name of Enoch. It's the name that Enoch received after his transformation into an angel. Now, some people consider the Kabbalah a satanic cult. And there's a lot of people in Hollywood and in the music industry that follow the Kabbalah specifically the Kabbalah Center. Some of the people that are involved are Madonna, Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, Sandra Bernhard. What do they have all what do they all have in common? They're liberals. And uh, this is how Hollywood and the music industry is pushing the agenda on people that will listen to what they say but don't use critical thinking about what they're saying. So I did a little research and a former student successfully sued the son of the founder of the Kabbalah Center. Now the son had taken control after his father had died in 2013, alleging that Yehuda, the son, had attempted to drug and sexually assault this woman in 2014. Now, this is at the Kabbalah Center that's attended by many Hollywood and music industry people. Are you surprised? <laughs> I'm not. Uh, the Kabbalah Center had to pay $177,500 in damages in 2015. So if this is the type of behavior that's inspired by Metatron, do you really want to follow Metatron? Now, it's also possible that her message from Metatron was not actually from Metatron. It was from some dark entity that was feeding her hot air and BS. It's her truth, though. So once again, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go on her page and comment about that. I just noticed. 
okay, where's this woman coming from? Where's her, where's her mindset? And that's where her mindset is. You know, she believes through through Metatron that you know, Trump and his family, uh, this being president will ruin Trump and his family. Okay, and she's been very anti-Trump ever since. And then she comes on my page and starts <laughs> creating dissension, which I'm not here to do. You know, and that's the point of this video is to honor everyone's path. You know, from what I understand on the Kabbalah Center, many people are leaving that, that center because of, you know, just like any other religion, you know, what they said, and this, this is part of my research, they said, according to model Jerry Hall, we couldn't go through the door of miracles unless we gave the Kabbalah people 10% of our money. The door of miracles cost you money, according to the Kabbalah Center. Now, according to me, all you got to do is be a good person <laughs> and you make the transition. But according to the Kabbalah Center, you got to give them all this money. No different than when the Roman Catholic Church said, well, you can pay in, in advance for all your sins so they, they could get more money. You know, this whole religion BS. So tying Metatron to Enoch and bringing it into religion through the Kabbalah Center and then getting a message about Trump. I mean, that's really going on a limb. I'm sorry. But what these musicians and actors and actresses are trying to do is shape the opinion of easily influenced minds because an actor said it, it must be true. Well, you know, I, I just made a post on my Facebook page, a meme, you know, basically saying that, you know, the only one you really need to believe is yourself. That's it. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks or says, just believe yourself, you know, and you'll always be guided in that right direction. As long as you're doing the right things, living a good life, living in that high vibration of truth, love, and light, you'll be fine. And you don't have to give me 10%. <laughs> what did I feel when Trump was elected? I didn't vote. I thought it was fixed. You know, what was it? Uh, CNN, and Huffington Post, one of those places. They gave on the night of the election, they said it was like a 98.1% chance of Hillary winning. Not even close. You know, and that, once again, it just goes to show you how the mainstream media, along with these actors, actresses, and musicians, are trying to shape reality, and it's failing miserably. God, CNN gets fewer viewers than many YouTube channels <laughs> right now. It's a joke, but yet people still believe them. Now... The same thing, you know, honoring people's past. Now, I don't agree with this woman. Like I said, I'm not going on her page, and I'm not going to ridicule her. It's her beliefs. She's entitled to them, okay? And I honor that. I respect that. And I honor and respect everyone's beliefs. Eventually, the truth is going to come to light. And eventually, well, it, one of us will be wrong, perhaps, unless everything's happening at the same time and every possibility that exists happens, then no one's wrong, no one's right. But in this current reality that I'm experiencing, one of us is gonna be wrong. <laughs> and if it's me, I'll be the first one to apologize and to admit it. But I have a feeling like a lot of these people on the left, they're just gonna get angrier and more upset. I feel sorry for them, especially when these 50,000 plus sealed indictments come out exposing a lot of their idols, their movie stars, and even it doesn't, they don't even have to be leftists. This is going to shock the, the entire globe of all these people that are well-known people that are going to be arrested. Uh, my feeling is that that's going to happen probably in January, you know, in, in or around January 20th. So there's certain things that have to fall in place beforehand. But if I were to guess, that would be the date. Now, don't hold me to it. It's just a guess. 
but there are certain things that have to happen beforehand, and that would be the date that seems like it would be the earliest possible that it would occur. <laughs> Desiree, Desiree saying the actresses and actors fail because most of us are smarter than that. Yeah, we, we're not that we're smarter or better necessarily, but we see through their bullshit. I think is basically what you're saying. Yeah, and uh, just because they're saying it doesn't mean it's true. For me, you know, as I've mentioned, I have a really dear friend. Uh, in upstate New York, who's um, a Democrat, and I love her like a sister. We don't talk politics. When we talk, we talk about everything else other, and we laugh until we cry. It's not worth losing a friendship over politics or arguing over this crap, because ultimately, I would like to see all government gone. I would like to see a council of elders replace all governments. I wrote an article about it. I'll put the, I'll put the link in here. Um, but imagine that, you know, if we could have a council of elders that we could vote on every month, and they have to be 100% transparent, they have to say exactly what they did in humanity's best interest, or else they're fired. I would volunteer for that job in a heartbeat. I would take care of first, first things first, air, water, and food supplies. No more chemtrails, no more GMOs, no more fluoride in the water, no more red tide. Uh, regulations on pollution for every corporation. And then the release of all these patents that have been suppressed from humanity, like Nikola Tesla's free energy that he used in the 1800s, Stanley Meyer's water-powered car, those would all, all get released. This world could be a place that would make the current world look like the Stone Age and today's world look like the Jetsons. <laughs> Remember that cartoon? You know, the Space Age? Got my little quartz crystal with me. I bought this at the metaphysical show we had here in Sarasota last month. So that's, that's where I'm at, you know, I'm thinking, you know, there's a lot of dissension going on right now, even within our genre, you know, the spirituality, metaphysics, esoteric genre. You know, if you look at many of the leaders in this genre, you know, uh, James Gilliland, David Wilcock, uh, the Jenna Pixie. Uh, Mike Adams from uh, Natural News. We're all aboard on what's happening with these sealed indictments and having um, everything play out to fruition, uh, that the left is corrupt, the deep state is something that is real and exists and has been working against us and humanity's best interests for a long, long time. So it's not a coincidence. and. We're all free thinkers. We're not going to be influenced by other people. Um, you know, for example, when when I was a kid, oh gosh, when I was a kid, I do that all the time to my daughter whenever I say when I was a kid, or when she says when I was a kid, when I was a kid, but when I was a kid, when I was a kid, and I would go to Sunday school. I was Methodist. My parents were Methodists. Um, I would get the EBGBs going in there. I just felt I knew something was wrong. Three, four years old, I'm questioning my Sunday school teachers. Why, 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 why? And I asked so many questions, they threatened to kick me out of Sunday school because I was disrupting the class <laughs> with too many questions. I had the EBGBs. I knew something was not right about that. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the inner, inner discernment that we're all born with. Um, and, and sometimes an inner knowing that we come pre-programmed with into this incarnation. And that was one of the things for me because in a previous life I was a Mayan elder, nobody popular. I wasn't Kukulkan or, you know, Quetzalcoatl or anybody, anybody like that. Actually Quetzalcoatl was Aztec, but, um, yeah, I was a Mayan elder during the Spanish Inquisition. 
and they threatened to kill me if I didn't convert to Christianity. And I lied. I said, yeah, but I lied for a good reason. So I could pass that knowledge on to, to our children and our grandchildren. And I remember the Christians parading through my town and there's like torn, tattered, shattered glyphs and everything all throughout the streets. It was horrible. And I, I think that that's in my genetic DNA about religion. For me, Christianity, you know, my, my own personal disdain for organized religion. Um, and now we're looking at the Roman Catholic Church and the Pope just came out saying that populism, procreating, having children, is because of the devil. <laughs> Basically, he's saying that. And then we see all the pedophilia that's going on in the Roman Catholic Church. We see all the corruption that's going on. You know, religion is on its way out and um, hopefully, in my vision, I see the Roman Catholic Church dissolving and its net worth being distributed throughout all the people in the world. The Roman Catholic Church has enough net worth to feed, clothe, and shelter every person on the planet. So you got to ask, why is there starvation and homelessness if they're not if they're not living by the word of the book, the Bible, helping others? How can you trust them, right? And it's my belief that all religious texts should be four words. Love everyone. Respect everything. That's really all you need to know. That's it. The world would be a much better place if we could all live by those four words. And that's, that's all you really need to know. You don't need to tithe 10 to 20% of your earnings just to know that. Be a good person. <laughs> you know, love and respect. That's all it takes. Tamara's asking about the cruise date. Yes, there is a cruise um, that I'll be speaking at. I'll be doing actually a workshop at that one with, with Michelle Walling. And it, it's the, let me, hang on. It's, I've got it right, right here. I don't have it. I think it's January 17th. Yes, the Waves of Light five day conscious conference at sea. January 17th through the 21st, 2019. And it leaves Tampa and goes out to Cozumel and back. So it goes out to Mexico and back. And while you're in Mexico, I recommend doing the Tulum tours where you get to see these uh, old Mayan ruins out there. It's pretty cool. Oh, thank you, Rita. Rita said I'm good for the planet. Oh, thank you. Ginny. Hi, Jin Jin. <laughs> Jackie's saying the Foo Fighters broke into my video. That's awesome. I, ho I hope you can go, Tamara. There's a link on N5D. If, you're th if anyone's thinking about going, that'll link you up to the website. That'll get you signed up for it. So definitely check it out. Getting back to my point, honoring the paths of others. And this even goes in, you know, if, if you're married or if you're in a relationship and you have disagreements with your significant other, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever, um, honoring their path. You, there's not one other person on this planet that you're going to agree 100% with on everything. That person doesn't exist. So wouldn't it be a lot easier just to honor their path? You can agree to, to disagree. You can have a polite conversation about things, but to push your opinion on others, they've already made their minds up. You know, it's like the liberal left. You can't tell them anything. They already have their pre-programmed responses. So it's not even worth wasting your time getting into an argument with, with them. They have the, uh, the, the NPCs. <laughs> Some of those NPC memes are a riot. There's this one, what was that? It's, it's, it's like one of those things that you pull and it spins around and when the, 
arrow points on something, it gives a uh, an NPC response. <laughs> it's all right. I posted that that meme on, I think it was on my latest meme that I posted on my personal Facebook page. There's so many out there of these gray people with the little round white eyes, the slant nose, and a line for a mouth repeating the mainstream media rhetoric, just regurg regurgitating that crap. And it's it's funny because we see it so much from a lot of these people that, that are extreme left. Not all lefties are bad. Just like not all reptilians are bad or not all grays are bad. Not all Pleiadians are bad. You know, but some of these extreme people and I'm sure on the extreme right it gets equally as bad it's probably idiots out there too you know KKK if there's if they're on the right I don't know if they're on the right or left but if they are on the right yeah they're idiots too nobody wants that either ultimately we find the balance within we honor each other's paths with respect and love and that's my point for today honor everyone's path doesn't mean you have to be a doormat. Doesn't mean you can't stand up for what's right for you if you're being personally attacked, but it's best just to take the high road. I've, I've always recommended that, you know, in any situation, take the high road um, because it's not worth really going down the other road unless you're physically being attacked and you have to defend yourself. Then do what you gotta do. But do everything, try to do everything with love and respect and it'll all work out in the end. Tamara's saying, love people where they are, where they are, unconditional. I always say, I just roll with it, perfect. It's so hard to do at times when people get so wound up. You know, there's, there's a lot of diversity going on in this world and it's all created. It wasn't supposed to be this way. But you have people like George Soros and his open, what is it, Open Society Foundation that is paid to basically stir shit, um, to divide us, to make us divided uh, through s silly movements that are worthless and senseless. It's unfortunate that it has to be that way because it's not supposed to be that way. We're supposed to have, be here having a lot of fun. You know, imagine if all those patents were released, you know, and you could drive around on, I don't know, for a year on a tank of, of water. <laughs> imagine that, or having your own little spaceship. Yeah, that's the kind of world I want to live in. And it could happen. It's not a fantasy. There's so much technology that's being suppressed from us. From, I think it was Emory Smith was the one that said this. He said, right now we have the iPhone 10. The iPhone 20 has already been built. That can do things light years beyond anything that this can do. But they're slowly going to increment us up to that iPhone 20. I don't use an iPhone to begin with, but that's what Emory said. The technology is already there to do things that we can't possibly, possibly fathom right now. But it, it exists. And we're heading in that right direction. You know, but, you know, what we have to do is number one, have the whole world agree to a council of elders. Yeah. You know, so we're all working together. Number two, have a common language, you know, and I, <laughs> I've said this before. I don't care if, if it's Russian, Polish, Spanish, if we talk in clicks, imagine, you know, <laughs> I would do that. I would, if that's the language everyone decided on, I would learn it just so we could communicate with each other, you know, because language is a barrier and whatever language was decided upon we all learn it okay and that becomes the global language and then we all work for see it's, it sounds a lot like the new world order but it's the new world order the way it should be and that's basically you know all of us working in humanity's best interests the new world order that, according to george bush is the exact opposite the oligarchs control all of us. But in this way, it's the opposite way around. The, the pyramid is inverted. We actually have all the power. And um, 
if we could actually get to that point of being at least a type one civilization. We're, not, we're, we're still a type zero because we can't get beyond war and killing and hatred and diversity. And once again, this is all being pushed on through George Soros and you know all this stupid foundations to keep us apart. Once the bottom of the pyramid unites, the rest will collapse. Bottom line. So the way to play it through this is not to feed the fire, is to, you know, accept that there are differences and honor those paths of those that don't share your path. Don't instigate them. Don't poke them with a prod. Even if you believe with all your heart, you're 100% right and they're 100% wrong because they think the exact opposite. They think they're 100% right and you're 100% wrong. And in each reality, who knows? Could be true on, on both. But just live out your own reality. Don't worry about what the other people are doing. Be a good person. Respect everyone. Love everything. Love everyone. Respect everything. So I'm going to leave it off at that. I found it interesting that the video was interrupted, though. Um, about the whole Metatron thing. Um, curious about what your thoughts on are about Metatron and the whole Kabbalah thing. Uh, so if you if you would leave your comments here in the video, and I'll be checking them out a little bit later on. So I'm going to leave it off at that. I want to thank everyone for joining me again. Back on another N5D Facebook Live. Whether you're listening to it right now, the recorded version, or on YouTube, which I'll be uploading shortly. So until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D. Namaste. Peace. Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com, and you're tuning into another N5D Facebook Live. Um, for those that are watching this on YouTube, I've been doing live videos basically every day since we had Red Tide back in August, and I, I do cover metaphysical things on those videos as well, but I just haven't re released them on YouTube trying to keep it more spiritual on YouTube than, um, than being the justice warrior <laughs> that I am at times. Uh, just a quick hello and shout out to Joyce, Mike, Amber, Thomas, Tamara, Valetta, Joanne, John, Jillian, Tal, Tal, Talaya, <laughs> Joanne, Ian, Thank you for joining me. Yeah, so um, yeah, I do do videos every day if you're watching this on YouTube on my personal Facebook page, which people are watching right now and joining in. Uh, and let us know where you're from so we can all make connections with people in our areas. So if you would, put on there, where are you from? But yeah, this is what I've been doing. And I do try to mix in, as I mentioned, metaphysical topics into the Daily Beach update because there's other people that watch that that are just beginning their journey and it might give them a few things to go off on, like the Schumann Resonance, which I noticed for the past three days and I made a, I, I put the picture of the latest Schumann Resonance in the video that I just uploaded this morning, well, the Facebook Live that I just did this morning. Um, showing that for the last three days, right around three o'clock, between like three and four o'clock, there's been these Schumann resonance spikes. 
and they say that that's a sign of spiritual awakening. So if you've been awakening in the middle of the night with Schumann resonance spikes, you're not alone. Honestly, I haven't slept the whole night since, I think since my daughter was born back in 1994. As soon as she would just go, eh, I would wake up, <laughs> check on her, make sure that she's okay. But ever since then, I I sleep, I, I wake up so easily. I, I can't sleep throughout the night. And I'm not blaming my daughter. My daughter's the best thing that's ever happened to me, but it's just the way I am now. And uh, I, I accept it. Besides, I have that rare sleep anomaly that I was telling you guys about. I, you know, I had sleep apnea at one point and uh, had a sleep study done. They hooked all these electrodes all over my body. And they found out that I have this rare sleep anomaly where I go instantly into the dream state and I stay there all night. The stage after the dream stage is where you get that deep sleep. Uh, and I get zero of that. I don't get any. Um, and I know there's a few other people. I've brought this up before, and there's a few other people out there that are um, in the same boat. So uh, Lori's saying that last night I woke up at 3.33, and I've been seeing 3.33, 4.44, 2.22. I've been seeing a lot of these triple numbers a lot, and Dana says she's from Sarasota. Howdy, neighbor. Clearwater, neighbor. <laughs> Mike's from Memphis. It's great. Uh, and feel free to contact each other, you know, develop your own networks. If you see somebody within your area, give them a shout, friend them, if nothing else, on Facebook. Uh, Amber is asking, did you see the Aurora Borealis is getting closer to the States? No, I haven't. I got to check that out. That's going to be interesting. I, somebody sent me a video, though, and I haven't had the chance to look at it yet. I get a lot of uh, messages in my inbox so it's it's hard to get around to all of them immediately um, but I have a feeling that that's one of them because that's what it kind of looked like uh, so yeah I can't wait to check it out lots of Floridians joining us rock on yeah we're going through that red tide right now again you know, thanks to big sugar, phosphorus mining, sewage dumping, and all that crap. And it changed, like, within 24 hours, bam. Dead fish on the beach today. Got that red tide smell in the air. And there's only so much we can do with thoughts and intentions. But, like I said, you know, through activism, we can attack the problem, which is corrupt politicians and corporations that are knowingly and willingly killing our sea life. Once again, I'll put it out there. If there's a lawyer watching start a class action lawsuit, do the right thing on behalf of all the endangered species that have died because of big sugar, corrupted politicians, phosphorus mining, sewage dumping. Do the right thing. You'll get millions of signatures on that class action lawsuit. And, you know, this, this brings us into today's topic, which is honoring everyone's path, everyone's individual path. I had a comment from a woman who said that one of my posts, which was bringing up awareness in the political arena, she said it wasn't in 5D consciousness. And I said, I, I disagree. You know, if you're standing in the vibration of truth, love, and light, everything you do is in the vibration of truth, is in the vibration of 5D consciousness. Whether it's your truth, whether it's my truth, it doesn't matter as long as it's your truth. You know, when I said your truth, I was referring to this woman. It doesn't have to be. I just want people to look for the truth. Go find the truth, whatever it is may be. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what she thinks of her truth is to this person that's reading or what I think my, my truth is to anyone else but me. Just follow your own truth and, uh, you know, put your own truth out there and you'll find other people that re either resonate with it or don't. Um, but one thing I'm not going to do and I refuse to do is to go to other people's pages and argue with them over their beliefs. They're entitled to their beliefs, whether I agree with them or not. And I think it's kind of rude when people do the same thing to me, 
you know, I might post something on my personal Facebook page, which I, I won't post on the N5D Facebook page. This is just me standing in my own vibration of truth, love, and light. And people will come on there that don't agree and will be rude. <laughs> you know, and some people will they'll complain and then they'll say, well, I'm not following you anymore. Okay, great. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm, what I'm trying to do is bring soul family together to get to, to bring together like-minded people. Great example. Yesterday, I, I posted a picture. I, I looked at Jim Carrey's uh, Twitter account and a picture of Trump with a bomb in his mouth and some idle rhetoric written above it. And I posted it. And this woman comes onto my Facebook page. She goes, Jim Carrey didn't post that. That's not his work. That's Photoshopped. And I said, well, you know, if you just took a teeny little bit of time and actually went to his Twitter account and looked, here it is. And I, I said, I took the liberty of taking a screenshot, which I did, and showed the exact same picture. And then I even gave her the link. And I haven't heard back from her since. You know? But this is what these people do. They come and they attack us because we're standing in our own truth vibration. It doesn't mean that she's wrong. It's just that different realities, different light spectrums of reality. Well, she was wrong about the Photoshop thing. There was nothing Photoshopped about it. But maybe in her reality, yeah, maybe it looked like it was. <laughs> Despite showing the proof, the actual screenshot, and showing the link, maybe in her reality it was photoshopped. I don't know. Can't judge. <laughs> but, you know, I got to respect her reality and leave it to that. Another person. Oh, boy. Hmm. I'm not sure if I should get into this one, but I will. He was talking about the caravan that's coming up through Mexico right now. And uh, I mentioned that it's been proven that there are some terrorists and MS-13 gang members. And then he turns around and says that I said all of the caravan is terrorists and MS-13 gang members. I never said that. It's clear. And then he goes on to say, if any woman or children die, it's your karma. But of course, not accepting any karma if there are gang members and terrorism, uh, terrorists that are coming through, it's going to be his karma. <laughs> liberal left lunacy. And it's not that all liberals are like that. They're not. I know, I know several really good liberal people that <laughs> I'm great friends with, actually. And uh, one is in upstate New York. And she's amazing. We laugh until we cry every time we have conversations about everything except po politics. <laughs> but I, I love her like a sister. And uh, she's a great woman. It's just we don't agree in politics. You know, another one's my beach buddy that I see down on Beach Access 12. All he does is watch MSNBC, thinks that whatever they say is the truth. And in yeah, his reality, it is, you know, but. So I was down there yesterday because a friend of mine's in town from Philly and uh, my other friend was there and he's, of course, he brings up the politics thing and I told him what my, what my thoughts were and he just went ballistic and I said, okay, whatever, you know, I'm going to move on to a different topic and he wouldn't let it go. There's like this dark cloud over the liberals' heads, you know, these far left liberals' heads, dark cloud of, oh, every day is it's it's the worst day of my life. In the meanwhile, you know, I don't feel that way. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty darn good. And let me also mention that I'm not Republican or Democrat. I'm neither. I'm independent. In the past I have voted Democrat. In the past I've voted Republican. I've voted Libertarian. Um, and for the last election, I didn't vote at all. <laughs> so brings me to this, um, person I was scrolling on her page cause she was lambasting me and some of the people that are visiting my page. And she said 
she's talking about Trump, Donald Trump. And she said, on the day he won the election, and won is in quotation marks, as if you know Hillary won won the popular uh, popular vote. But it's been proven that, especially in California, there's been over three some, three million uh, dead voters <laughs> that voted. Um, three million more people that are dead than actually voted. So something along that line. Anyway, the, the corruption's way out of control. But she's saying that, you know, on the day Trump won the election, I heard Metatron 